Okay, jump into Q for round two. This seems fine. It's a little clunky, like no plays between, uh, before turn three. But we don't even have a lot of turn one and two plays anyway. Well, we have a, good, we have a decent number of turn twos. Maybe we can draw into one. Temple, I guess. It's kind of a turn two play. Okay, no, no play there. That's good. Means I don't really want to click. I, I think they might be doing some kind of combo reanimator where click would be good here, uh, but. They probably just want to draw into a land, so I'm just going to go for Old Man. And if they're not countering things, I could just drop Opposition next turn. Start tapping down their City of Brass, actually. They take a damage every time it becomes tapped, where they add mana or not. So opposition city is like take a damage every turn. There's a grave titan. I don't really think they have a counter. It's gonna run out the opposition. They might need to draw a land to get the Titan out. Even then I might be okay against reanimated Titan. Okay, they drew the land, so they might reanimate this turn. No, they don't have reanimation. Oh, and I have control magic, okay. Um, let's go Jace. And... I guess I just click now, because I want to tap upkeep. I think. I guess I could tap draw step. I'm already tapping down two lands, then go draw step. That's a little better. So tapping two lands and then going to draw step means we get to see one extra card and the opponent can't actually play a reanimation spell anyway. And now in draw step we can tap down their island. And we, we get to see what's up. We'll play reveals chosen card. So I look at their hand so I don't they don't actually reveal it, so I gotta take notes, a screenshot. Okay, well, they have Necromancy. And that's potential instant speed. Everything else in their hand is totally fine. I'm just gonna keep them tapped down. Ashiok, I can deal with. Kakusha, Mask Worm. I mean, even the Necromancy is fine because I can just control magic, but I'll take the Necromancy. I already have plenty of lands. I think I want to take Necromancy. I can also take nothing. But it just gives them instant speed. Like, they can just upkeep, get Titan. Yeah, I can control magic it. But I don't know. It's just kind of annoying. I don't know if I want to have to deal with that. It's not a great enough excuse, but I mean, compared to a random draw, 
uh, like these types of plays are complicated because maybe there's only one card in their deck that can get them out of the situation and I'm just helping them get closer to it it's a possibility uh, Revoker though let's go for careful consideration first probably draw into at least a land oh that's good Discard two cards. So Stagger Shock's pretty easy to discard. Hmm. We could do Ashiok with Revoker. Maybe I'll discard Jace Architect. Okay, Ashiok taken care of. And next one I go for Master of Waves, so. Yeah, let's tap down all their lands on upkeep. It's looking pretty good now. Yep. <laughs> Seems like people concede when you go for the Master Waves Opposition combo. I'm not really sure why. So we have a lot of sideboarding to do because they're reanimator. That means Stagger Shock doesn't do anything. Old Man is a lot weaker. FTK is a lot weaker. We'll probably cut FTK. Vapor Snag a lot better, or at least a decent amount better, like it can bounce a Massacre Worm or a Kakusho. Uh, Tanglewire, Factory, Augur, Gamble? Gamble's not the worst, because it could find like a Control Magic, an actual answer to something that they reanimate. But it's a risky card, of course, and it's in our splash color. Thunderbreak Regent or Stormbreath Dragon, just for more damage to the face. I like Stormbreath. Maybe run one more mountain to put that in. It's a good clock. Ooh, and Massacre Worm against uh, Master of Waves. That could be pretty rough. I don't know what I can do about that. I already have, uh, I did put an extra mountains. I already have seven mountains. That might be enough. We've got a lot of card draw as well. Uh, Wake Thrasher is great. This, like, early quick clock is good. Old Man. This is a double blue card, which is nice. It does, uh, it does steal like a Grave Titan token, which does slow down Titan a decent amount. We have one, two, three, four, five, five instants of sorceries right now. It's not enough for Augur of Bolas, I don't think. Maybe Cathartic Reunion? No. Maybe Irish Shaman. It's a quick beater. Or Thunderbreak region. Uh, hmm. Shaman versus Old Man. I'm going to go Old Man. Alright, I'll do this. And this is a reasonable opener. 
the click might be able to stop an early reanimation. And Wake Thrasher, again, can just be a huge threat. Their deck doesn't tend to play much defense. Turn one and two, that's pretty scary. Good Grave Titan, hopefully not getting turn two reanimated. So can't do much about that, but if they have Necromancy, I can stop it because I can use uh, Fire Ice, tap their land next turn, and then click to take it out of their hand. Ooh, hand the Torok. That might disrupt me here. Yep, I got the click. It's not good. So we'll ice that. It just stops necromancy. Impulse. It's more likely they have the reanimation spell now. And yeah, Wake Thrasher gives me a good clock. I really need to get the Archmage out and have mana up to protect. Like, that's my best way to win, and that's going to be till turn 5. Odds are they're going to be, be able to reanimate by then. So I don't love my odds here. And maybe we'll just come down to, you know, can I top deck a Control Magic for the Grave Titan? Actually, Exum would be kind of interesting if that's what they have. What murderous cut? Okay, that's good. Well, here's Archmage. I can cast it. The next turn, go for Master. I mean, it won't be a surprise. But I also get one extra token for Master if I go for Archmage first. Cyclonic Rift. Huh. I don't, I don't like, oh, we got the control magic. I don't really know what Cyclonic Rift did there. Like, what did that really do? I just replayed it, and now I have five. I mean, maybe they thought I wasn't going to have another land, though. But, well, now I have Archmage up. And I have Control Magic. Kira. Ah, uh, Kira's annoying. So five. I might want to counter twice, so I think I'm going to lead with the mountain. Well, I have a good clock going. I guess I could attack with Archmage there, but I, I mean... Trading for Kira is probably fine. I can get control magic. Liliana of the Veil. That might not be that bad, actually. But it also might get me to discard my control magic. But what if I just send everything at Liliana? Like, opponent discard, like, pluses Liliana. I just, 
like I send Archmage and the two elementals at it. Yeah, I think I just let this resolve. And then making me sacrifice a creature is fine too, is sacrifice an elemental token. Yeah, okay, just making me sacrifice a uh, token. Ooh, Sphinx. Um, yeah, now I don't really care that much about uh, Liliana plusing either. Let me just send the elemental token in. We got. I'm just not that worried about the Lily right now. I'd rather keep the Archmage up at full. You could send both at the Lily, but yeah, like th this did the trick. I didn't have to risk the mastery waves. Okay, I think we just about got this on lockdown. I'm even safe for Massacre Worm. Thirst for knowledge. I mean, I get to draw a million cards. I think this is fine. I still have Archmage up. I don't really see how this is going to end up good for the opponent. Decent chance I draw into opposition, just lock the game down from here. Okay, suspend cloud skates and uh, an opposition also lets us set up control magic. I'm just gonna tap down the opponent's uh, lands. Yeah, draw two more. Let's go for Snapcaster EOT. Like, I don't need to draw any more cards. Uh, I think just tapping down City, they go to 17, I get a lot of extra damage in, it's gonna be worth it. Try to kill them in two turns here. And, there, like, there's nothing they can do instant speed for two mana that's gonna worry me. I have the Davis backup. I guess I don't really need to draw any more cards, though. Well, let's plus Jace. I'll play this Jace just to get an extra tapper on the board, and then let's attack for six, I think. Uh, that's a little much, just four. Well, I guess I'll play it a little slower than I thought.
two, four, eight, ten, twelve. Well, I have enough. So I, I guess I did get there with the two turn kill. Alright, 2-0, on to the finals.